Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to set up your happy stick dog toy. Here it is, here's the box it should come in. This is what it should like when, look like when you get it. Pick yourself a really good spot, a big open area. Pull out the base. And the top plate. Take the top plate, screw it into the auger. There's a hole here on the top plate. You want to line that up with the plate, the hole on the base plate. Inside your accessory bag, you should have a small screw and nut. <clears throat> find it. There you go. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of scissors. Take your screw, push it through the hole both plates, put the nut down towards the ground, bottom, should look like that, and you're done. I like to tighten it up, make sure it stays tight. ground is uh, dry and hard, maybe has a lot of rocks in it, uh, take your time, add water, you can actually push it in, pull it out, put some water in there, and uh, you know, go again and again until you can slowly get it into the ground. <clears throat> in our case, this is pretty soft dirt, so it should go in pretty easy. Now if you get down and it stops, you can go ahead and back it up a little bit, loosen up some of the dirt. Take your time, uh, don't get frustrated, it'll slowly work yourself down into the ground. Okay, so it's in the ground. You want it to go all the way down to the base plate. Now we're going to put the poles together. Here are your poles. Um, there's four of them. The tip uh, should come already assembled. If it doesn't, um, it's real easy. You can see that this top has a hex nut, you can take a pair of pliers, put it on, and uh, tighten it down. Real easy. So go ahead and screw all the couplings together. I myself prefer hand tight, but you can actually take a pair of pliers, grab both sides, and give it a little twist so it's nice and tight. and do that with all four of them. Okay, once you're done doing that, you're going to want to go ahead and measure and, and uh, put your string on, which is also in your 
bag of accessories. You should have a whole roll of string, and we actually have already cut ourselves one for this. tube inside your accessory pack. You also want to put that on your rope. Very important that this is installed to keep uh, tangling down to a very minimum amount. So I wouldn't play with the dog toy without this. There will be a dog toy that comes in the accessory pack. Um, some dogs prefer certain toys, so this one's just one to get you started. Choose one that your dog likes. Uh, some dogs like stuffed animals, some dogs like squeaky toys, balls. You can put anything on here you'd like. This one's just to get you started. I like to tie a knot at the end of the string also, on its own, so it does not slip through. And it's pulled by the dog. Dog's nose. Okay. So you want your dog sitting on the ground. Find out what the height his nose is from the ground, and that's about right where you want the toy to be hanging. You don't want the do the toy to be laying on the ground. You want it up off the ground. Simple knot on the top. Now at the top there's a ring and that's for the bell. So in the accessory pack also there should be a bell and a ring. There you go. We should actually have a couple of them. Just slip the ring on to the tip of the pole on there. That's what you should have. Okay, now be sure that your dog is not around when you have this in your hand or you're setting it up because uh, you can get hurt, your dog can get hurt. Um, because as soon as your dog does get familiar with the toy, uh, he or she will want to grab it and pull it from you. Go ahead and flip the bottom pole into the base. Take your Phillips. Tighten up the pin. And as you see, again, this is the poor dog's nose that is at this height. So it's important that this is um, installed properly. Don't want it on the ground. Then your dog starts to play with it. You want it up where he can jump, tug at it, and have a good time. Okay, for those of you who have smaller yards, smaller dogs, uh, inside your accessory pack there should be an adapter. It'll look like this. This will shorten the happy stick for small dogs. Um, if you have a big dog, you shouldn't uh, allow them to use it. Here we go. So first you want to make sure your dog's not around when you're touching the happy stick. Very important that you read all the directions, all the warnings on this. So you have safe play. Like I said, make sure your dog's in the house or in a different location when you're approaching the happy stick. You wouldn't want to get smacked by it when it pulls on a toy. So the adapter will go on the bottom, bottom pole. Move it all the way on. top 
not pull. Remember to read all directions, set this up in an open area, don't have kids come around playing with it when your dog's playing, uh, you shouldn't be close to it, and have fun, and always watch your dog, do not leave him alone, have fun with your sappy stick. <laughs>